video. These are my bush beans and my bounty basic that sit over there. I um, noticed that the water was really low, but the indicator still said full. When that happens, most likely it is roots getting into the float. If you look closely right here, let me turn the flash on, you can see these few roots going right into the float. I just pulled them. What you want to do is wiggle this off and clean the roots out of here. See those roots in there? They keep the float from going up and down, kind of like in a sump pump when it gets stuck. So take all those roots out of there. I'm going to clean the roots out of here and put it back together and it should function properly. So this is my gorgeous Napa cabbage, only 31 days old. Look how large these leaves are. It has not quite started forming a head yet, but it probably will soon. So obviously it owns this bounty, but what I want to do is move it from its original spot, which is really close to the pole. And I want it to put it um, in one of these middle spots here. So it has a lot of room around it to spread out. But as I was pulling this out, I realized this thing has a lot of roots, obviously. So let's look inside. Look at that. Look at how the roots have wrapped all around the pump. So this is what I was talking about and why it's important to sometimes trim your roots or at least check them and move them. Um, as far as I know, this pump is still working, but this can definitely keep a pump from working or it can keep your float from working back there. So I'm gonna do a little cleanup here. Okay, so since I'm moving this and trimming, I'm just gonna go ahead and very gently pull this out of here. There are so many roots that if some break off the bottom, it's perfectly okay. So right here, I'm just going to cut so I can move this aside momentarily. Okay, so now I'm gonna go here inside the tank of the bounty, get all these roots from around the pump and discard them. And I'm going to take the float off for just a check and be sure there are no roots inside. It looks good. Put that back. Now, sometimes when you take these off, the little float inside falls out too. On the newer versions, it actually says up or top on them so that when you put it back, you put it back the right orientation. Otherwise, your um, float won't work and the water level will not be properly indicated here. I'm going to check inside. Look at that. See that? Roots get all around. I'm just going to pull out what I can. This is a new bounty, so the, the um, pump is pretty clean. But between plantings, or if you've been using your arrow garner for a long time, you want to take this apart and actually clean inside. This looks good, much better than it was. I'll put this back. Arrow Garden does spell sale replacement filters for here because sometimes when you pull out a plant with those big roots like that, these will actually stick to the roots and get accidentally thrown away. Some people um, just use sponges from Dollar Tree cut to size, and I have done that in one of mine where I lost the filter. And you put that in there and it serves the same purpose. Okay, so now that's much better. Put this back down. I know some of my tops fell off behind there. I'll have to get them another time. <clears throat> now I'm going to put the plant here. This will give this gorgeous cabbage plenty of space around it. So when it starts heading up, it won't be constricted by that light pole. Okay. 
All right. Now what I will do soon is harvest some of these big outer leaves around here and cook them, which will make some airflow space between this and the plant next to it. I took off a branch from this tomato that was coming over this way for the same reason. So, looks good. Now I just need to top off this water because I let the water get pretty low since I knew I was going to do this. Put the caps on those empty holes because we don't want light to get in there and cause algae. And we are done. So in my cabbage, I moved it from one spot to the other. But let's say I actually wanted to trim my roots because they're taking over the tank. What you're going to do is carefully lift the deck off of your unit. You can clearly see the roots in here and how long they've gotten and where they are. You want to make sure you leave at least two inches, at least two inches of root under the pod on all your pods, okay? So I go down about two inches or so. Just cut straight across on both sides and then all of those extra roots come out and the reason you want to do that as previously mentioned those roots can get into the pump and clog it they can cause problems in the float and the more roots you have in your tank the less water is in the tank so you're going to be filling that up once a day or multiple times a day if a lot of roots are in there taking over. So it's a good practice when you have a plant that has been growing for a lot of, a lot of uh, weeks or months or some people have plants that they've had for one to two years. So I hope that helps.